Dechvitek, welcome to London. Today we are standing across from St. Paul's Cathedral, a world famous landmark, obviously. And today you are going to learn how to do this. Which is based on the dolly zoom, which was pioneered by Hitchcock back in the day. And yes, you can recreate this effect digitally, which is something I've talked about in the past, but today I'm going to show you how to do it in camera. Fantastic news. I just got off the phone with Artlist who want to sponsor this video. Well, I'll talk more about their new subscription plan later. Before we begin shooting the hyperlapse, we want to make sure that our camera is set up properly. So make sure you are in manual mode with your settings fully dialed in manually as well. So aperture, ISO, shutter speed, and white balance. You want them all in manual. You are in charge of the camera. You do not want to let the camera decide what to shoot for you. Then you want to make sure that you're shooting both raw as well as JPEG photos because we'll be using the JPEG photos as proxies later on for stabilizing. As I assume you know by now, any hyperlapse has a track that goes towards or sideways of a subject and on that subject you need an element or a anchor point in every photo. You want to make sure that every photo is as similar to the previous photo as possible. Now normally you shoot this at a fixed focal length, meaning you do not change your zoom. But now we're going to start from far away, slightly zoomed in, and with every step I take closer to the cathedral, I'm going to zoom out just a tiny, tiny amount. So now all we're going to do is do a test run of our track. So as I'm doing this, I take a photo, I take three steps, I adjust the zoom a little bit, take another photo, one, two, three, zoom out a little bit, all about getting in the zone. So your spacing and your timing is as consistent as possible. And the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you get at it. I've been doing this for about 10 years. I'm pretty good at it now. <laughs> having a review of my sequence and you know what it looks pretty damn good I'm very excited to stabilize it and render it out but before we do that a quick word about the sponsor of this video Artlist. Artlist is a music and sound effects licensing website. They have thousands of amazing tracks, including the really fun one that you've been listening to on this video, as well as an insane collection of high quality sound effects. The website is user friendly and the catalog allows you to search by mood, genre, video theme, instrument, etc, etc. It's truly a pleasure to use because I know how annoying it can be to look for music. With the rise of the creator economy, Artlist has launched a new subscription plan specifically for social media content creators. The entire catalog of music music as well as sound effects is now available to personal plan subscribers which has had its price reduced. How good? Starting from as low as $9.99 per month, whether you're a starting YouTuber, an existing social media influencer or an aspiring content creator, the personal plan license has you covered for YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram and so much more. The projects you use with your personal plan are covered for eternity, so even if your subscription finishes you won't get any copyright claims. Please read more about how you can use Artlist to create better content down below. Now, this is what we have straight out of camera. Let's have a look at how we can make this footage look smooth. Usually I do this process in After Effects, however to make this more accessible for you, let's do it in Premiere Pro this time. For the more advanced After Effects workflow, you can watch pretty much any of my other hyperlapse tutorials. For now, let's have a look at these JPEGs and Premiere Pro. Before we begin, go to your preferences in Premiere Pro and make sure that under the timeline panel, you have your default still image duration set to one frame. Then drag your JPEG sequence into a timeline and nest that collection of photos. This will pretty much turn that sequence of photos into a video clip. Then you want to go to your effects panel and look up the warp stabilizer. Drag that effect onto that nested sequence and set the smoothness to 10. Let this analyze and if needed you can re-nest that nested sequence and add the effect again if you need to repeat it because it's not stable enough. Repeat this process as often as needed and that's pretty much it. It really is that simple. Hyperlapse photography has gotten so much easier compared to where we started about 10 years ago and I'm excited to keep teaching you these things. Let me know what else you'd like to learn. If you want to learn more from me you can check out the Ultimate Time Lapse course. But 
If you want to get some great music and sound effects, obviously I would implore you to click the link to Artlist down below. The sponsor for this video, thank you so much Artlist and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this, leave a comment down below and may your skies be filled with fluffy clouds.